My name is Kim Beadman and I'm a mindset coach and today I'm coming to talk to you about goal setting and just how important it is to your future. We all know about goals, right? It's something of a buzz term at the moment. Everybody's talking about it and everybody's talking about what you should be doing and how you should be setting goals. So the first thing I want to do is just explain what a goal is. Pretty much a goal is something that you pinpoint that you want to achieve. And then once you pinpoint that goal, the next step is that you will commit to the process that it takes to achieve that goal because we all know that there is a process. And when you do start that process, one of the things that is very, research actually shows that um, there's an acronym that many people use to achieve their goals and it's it's called SMART goals and those SMART goals are S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for realistic and T stands for time sensitive so basically that you can put a time frame around any goal that you are setting out to achieve. So when we're talking about goals and when we talk about being specific, specific means that you don't just throw um, a, a goal like for instance if you say I want to be more successful in my business. Well that is a goal obviously but it's not really specific enough it's a little bit too broad um, another example could be that you might want to lose weight so you need to make that a little bit more um, specific as well so how much weight do you actually want to lose do you want to lose 10 kilos or do you want to lose five kilos um, and so that makes it a little bit more specific so uh, when you uh, set out and you uh, make those goals specific, you can also uh, break them down into bite-sized chunks, which actually show you how measurable they are. So that, that take me, takes me into the next uh, letter in the acronym of SMART, and that is M, and that's that your goal's measurable. So when you um, are able to you break those SMART goals down into bite-sized chunks, you're actually able to measure your progress. And one of the things about breaking the, uh, the goals down into bite-sized chunks is that you can do something like, say for instance, let's lose, use your business as, a, as an example. So you want to um, in, uh, make your business more successful, like you wanna uh, bring in more money. Um, as you know you're breaking that goal down into an achievable uh, goal and so break that down again into bite-sized chunks and what you can say to yourself is okay so I want to earn more money so that's how I want to make my business more successful and more profitable so breaking it down into bite-sized chunks would mean that you would say okay so I want to earn more money so how you can measure that again is to uh, go to every day you can you know uh, work out how much you're earning in your business on a daily basis then you can have a look at your weekly income and then you can go of course and look at your monthly income and that breaks those goals down into you know measurable bite-sized chunks and one of the things that makes the bite-sized chunks so important to goal setting is that each little win that you have, no matter how small, it's, you know, it's a, a little victory lap every time you have a small win, which all plays an integral part in the process of that final victory lap. So, and what happens every time you have that small win is it actually puts another little notch in your pocket and it builds your confidence. So when you um, do start to you know, build on those uh, achievements, your ability and your confidence grows. And we all know how important confidence is uh, in achievement. And that is one way that you can uh, build your confidence around those things. Take for instance, I just mentioned about the businesses, but 
take for instance if you wanted to lose weight so you might overall want to lose 10 kilos so the way to break that down into bite-sized chunks is okay so say 12 kilos over three months that's four kilos uh, a month and if you break that down again into another bite-sized chunk it's like one kilo a week so that is pretty achievable and it's pretty doable and it's very measurable um, you can check that every week and if if you're not reaching the goals that you want to reach that's when you can actually take a step back and and say well okay i'm going to tweak this a little bit i'm going to make a few changes and you know you can see where you're heading um, and it's more of a measurable process the a in smart stands for achievable so the other thing that we can sometimes do when we a goal setting is that we need to make sure that the goals that we are setting are achievable and you know I'll give you an example of a, a goal that's probably not achievable um, so say I'm a student I am working part-time as a waitress and I've got another two years left of study I don't have any money in the bank but my one of my goals is to have a BMW at the end of a year of 12 months well unless someone comes and hands me the keys to a BMW because I mean you know the base baseline BMW is probably about 60,000 unless somebody's going to come and hand me those keys there's no way that me working as a waitress studying full-time and um, but working as a waitress and having two years left in my degree is going to be able to, you know, buy me a BMW by the by in, by the end of the year. It's just not going to happen. So that's they're the sort of things that you really need to look at, um, and so, which is, you know, it's achievable and it's realistic. So neither of those, if that is not realistic, and it's certainly not achievable, um, and you know, another. Another goal could be that you want to buy a house in 10 years. Often when I have my clients come in, the first thing that I will ask them is, you know, what's your 10 year plan? Where do you want to be in 10 years? What do you want to be doing? What do you, do, where do you want to be living? Um, you know, what job do you want to be in? What car do you want to be driving? And once you actually ask that question of yourself, it actually, it opens up a Pandora's box because it'll give you some indication about where you're actually sitting right now. If you are, you know, not saving any money um, and, you know, you want to buy a house in 10 years time or you want to be living in your own house, you know, my question, my first question would be, are you actually saving any money each week to, um, you know, to realise that goal that in 10 years time you want to own your own house? Because really you need to be saving for a deposit. So all goals that are out here actually have, again, bite-sized chunks that are broken down that you're walk working towards an end goal. So it's it's no good, you know, saying that you want to buy a house in 10 years if, you know, you live from week to week, you are not saving any money because you're really not working towards those goals and they're not realistic and they won't be achievable. Um, you know, uh, and so that's that's another really important part of goal setting. And the other thing that is really important about goal setting is to make sure that you uh, put a time frame on it because then you can use your determination and your resourcefulness to make sure that you are doing everything that you possibly can to lead yourself to that you know to that goal that you have planned uh, over that specific um, time frame and you can measure yourself you know if you break it down into bite-sized things by uh, weekly goals and if things are not quite working out then you have the opportunity to tweak them all the way through you're not basically just saying you know willy-nilly yes I have this 10-year goal and you're not doing anything to lead you to achieve that goal um, and you know we all have 
uh, our areas where we might have mindset blocks. And sometimes if you are setting goals and not achieving them, then you know there could be a mindset issue in the way. And if there is, that's simple enough to move. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.